Welcome to Easy WP Local Host, and today is another day where it's uh, beautiful sunshine here in the UK, and uh, I'm taking uh, young Bobby up for a, a walk. So, what is Easy WP Local Host? Now, most people know that uh, uh, to run a local host on your PC or your Mac is an ordeal. There are various instructions on the web, which are going to take you through various installation processes, and generally, if you're lucky, within an hour or two, uh, you may be able to get one workstation going. And again, you will have to do or repeat the process for another workstation on your desktop um, or for this Mac or PC. And uh, every single workstation is just a pain to install. Uh, worse still, there is no backup function. So essentially, if you're trying to back up, you have to do stuff manually. And again, you're reading loads of stuff. And this kind of stuff just doesn't work very well for uh, basic users. And uh, doesn't work very well for your subscribers either who are trying to replicate this. Now there is a serious need for working offline with localhost and that is you can generate sites, you can build your sites offline before you take them online and you can also play with themes and your plugins offline, see which ones work for you, which ones are easy to work with and uh, you can do all this kind of testing without having to do, to do that on a live site. So that is one of the the key benefits of working with a local host bus, as I said, far. So what we've done with Easy WP Local Host is rebuilt the whole thing from scratch. It's a completely brand new product and it is an installable both on the Mac and the PC. There's nothing for your guys to do uh, like before uh, where they would have to have uh, uh, configuration and certainly some, some, some sort of manual configuration. There is none of that. It just installs and allows you to create the site and uh, and also allows you to back up a site so you don't have to worry basically about you know, having built a project that you're going to lose it um it's uh, it allows you that backup so it's uh it's a much much simpler product and essentially it's like a sas on your uh, on your desktop and it runs exactly like a real wordpress site would do on your pc or your mac and uh you'll see in the demo how easy exactly it is Okay, let me give you an example. One of the most popular products on the market right now is Zamp. It's free, you can install it. It takes about four or five minutes to install. However, once you've installed it, for each and every single site you create, you're gonna to have to go through this convoluted process. It's about 12 steps, one by one, very technical. You're gonna to have to get Apache, PHP My Admin. you're gonna to have to edit PHP files just to get a single site operating. And that's beyond the realms of possibility for a lot of people and beyond the realms of patience for the rest of us. Now, Zampa also introduced something called Bitnami, which allows you to install WordPress in one click or actually several clicks and actually only allows you to install one site in a specific directory. So if you need any more than one site, you are out of luck. So ideally, what we want is a simple way to install as many WordPress websites as we like. And we need to be able to do that fast. Now the installation of the product is extremely simple. It is in fact just literally dragging over the DMG file on the Mac and running the executable on the PC. So once you've installed the product, you can go to any browser and type the word localhost in the URL bar and press enter. And you're gonna to get to the Easy WP Localhost Manager. Now as you can see, there's two buttons here. One's called New Site and the other one's called the Import Site. This Import section is only available in the Pro version, which we'll discuss later. So I'm going to go into new WP site and automatically it uh, shows me the latest version available in, in my repository and I'm going to type a folder name and I'm going to create the site. And there you go, that's it, job done. Now just to show you that the product is actually working, I'm going to go into the, the site itself and as you can see it's starting the installation process which I'm going to fill in now. And I'm ready to install. And as you can see, the site is working. So I'm just gonna go and refresh the main home page, and as you can see, that's a standard default version of WordPress. Now this site is gonna work exactly the same as it would do on a real server, with exception that it's gonna be a lot faster. And as long as you're connected to the internet, you'll be able to install your themes, plugins, and updates the regular way. But by far the most important feature in the EasyWP localhost is the ability to back up and restore a site. So let me show you that function now. I'm not going to back up this project that we just worked on. Just by pressing back up here. And I'm going to break the site willfully by installing a dodgy plugin. And I happen to have one which will do that job perfectly. 
I'm now going to activate this plugin, and bingo, my site is now broken. Now, if this was a real site, your site will be down, you'll be losing money, and most likely you would need to log into your FTP to remove the dodgy plugin, assuming it hasn't corrupted your database. If it has, your only hope is a backup. Now, most people don't back up when they're building sites on a live server because it takes too long. So you probably have to start again from scratch. Now, let me show you how easy it is to restore a site on EasyWP localhost. All I need to do is go to restore, find the latest backup and press the restore button. Now I'm going to go to the same site. And as you can see, we're back up and operational again. And that took seconds. Okay, so that's pretty much the standard version of Easy WP Localhost Manager covered. So there's those, those three buttons here, and that button there comes as standard. Now these three buttons here are upgrades to the product, which I'm going to run through now. Now these upgrades will be offered to you after purchase, but I'm going to give you a little glimpse as to the kind of things you'll be able to do with the extra toys that we have built for the product. Now, the first one is import WP sites. So that comes together with a plugin that you install on a WP site, and in this case, it's installed on my website. Now, all we really want to do is to be able to download a site from a live server to a local host, or upload one from a local host to a live server. And we wanted to do that in the simplest possible way. So let me show you how it works. So the plugin itself, as you can see, I've got it installed on my Hitman Publishing site, and you have an import and export function. Now, I've pressed the export button earlier, and that's generated me a link just here. And I've downloaded the file it's created straight to my PC. Okay, I'm now going to go to my local host manager, and I'm going to press the import site button. Now it's going to ask me for a folder name. I'm going to call it Hitman. And I'm going to select the file I wish to import. Just here. And watch how fast this works. And that's it, job done. So I'm just going to go into the site itself to show you that it's actually worked. And as you can see, that's a copy of my site. So I'm just going to go to my site as well just to show you that it's a real site and it's exactly the same. And there you go. That's my site live on my server. And we're proud to say this is actually the fastest and easiest way to clone a live site to and from a local host. Okay, so one final thing, just going to run you through and that's these two buttons here. These come with a developer pack. Now, if you press the button here, as you can see, what I've got is a selection of themes and plugins that I own or I've downloaded from the WordPress repository already available to me. And all I ever need to do is press a few checkboxes and these will be instantly added to my project. So all I need to do is just press the install button and let's go to the site and the admin area, plugins, and as you can see, they're here. Now we estimated that we lost about 20 or 30 minutes per site doing all the plugin installation and downloads manually. So this is a huge time saving. And one final thing in our local host manager, just gonna go back to that now. We've got this duplicate site option. Now, majority of the projects that you'll be working on will have similar pages, similar setup, similar configuration. And all you ever need to do when you have a project like that is click on duplicate site. I'm going to click here and call it another name. I'm going to call it test three and clone site. And that generates an exact copy of the site that I've just been working on. So that was very easy. Now, as you have seen, we have created a site, we have broken a site, we have downloaded a site for offline editing, and we did all this in minutes. Which makes this product the most desirable, the easiest, and certainly the most useful product in the WordPress Webmasters arsenal. On behalf of myself and Michael Thomas, thanks for watching.